welcome back to Remedies Recommends. Those of you who have seen the previous video, what are cysts, are now wondering what you can do with them. So that's why we are here. This is our product, Remedies Nutrition, Cis Be Gone. Our previous video explains what's in it and how it works. But now we want to talk about how these herbal supplements or other treatments can help you reduce these cysts. We assume, first of all, you've seen your doctor, you've ruled out any serious issues with a cyst. Most of the time, they will not be serious, they're benign, they might cause a little pain or discomfort. That's why we're here, to discuss what we can do. We also want to look back at that video and see some of the causes, because that would help us to prevent, and things like eating a better diet, and avoiding a very processed diet would also help us in preventing certain cysts. So we have a cyst we didn't discuss in our first video because it deserves a category of its own. It's called an epidermoid or cutaneous cyst. Now these are the ones we most commonly see because they're on our skin. They can even turn into or look like a pimple. So they appear usually on the face, ears, back, chest, but they can occur anywhere in the body. But what can we do for a home treatment of these cysts that come and go sometimes? Well, we don't want to squeeze them, scratch them, puncture them, because they very likely already contain some debris or infection, and we don't want to spread that throughout the body. We want to keep the area clean. We want to apply moist towels to it and do this several times a day. And later we'll discuss what sort of moisture or items that we can put on these cysts to help. Um, you can see some of these will raise up and form a pimple. You can apply hot compresses. This will usually cause them to come up to the surface, break open, and drain. Of course, you want to keep it very clean, cover it up, and change that compress several times a day. So now we want to see what we can apply to our skin, to our cysts to help we can use aloe vera. Now, aloe, as you know, is very rich in sulfur. It's an anti-inflammatory, and it helps reduce swelling. So what you want to do, you want to apply, you can use the, the aloe vera that we sell, which is George's aloe. It's in a liquid form like a water. You apply it to a towel letter gauze several times a day. After cleaning the area thoroughly, you cover it up. And if it bursts and drain, again, we want to keep it clean and make sure that it's healing properly, which the aloe vera will help with. We have apple cider vinegar, common item, we sell it, you also have it in your home. You wanna mix it equal parts, vinegar and water. Moisten your gauze, apply it 15 to 20 minutes, same protocol again, if it bursts, keep it clean and covered. And witch hazel is amazing for cysts. We also sell a very good quality witch hazel. It's astringent, it reduces excess sebum, so it's actually reducing excess fat on the surface of the skin, and it deeply cleanses the skin. That's why it's been popular for hundreds, if not thousands of years. It's anti-inflammatory, and it also helps increase the circulation to the area, which is what you want because you want to move that debris away and eliminate it from the body. Again, use your gauze patch, soak it with witch hazel, place it on the bump or sits for about 10 minutes, repeat that treatment three or four times a day, and again, keep it clean, covered, and change the dressing often. But now we also have breast cysts, and we know that we cannot get to these externally. So what can we do with these? We recommend our supplement, Cyst Be Gone, and if you want to view our first video, if you haven't seen it, you'll see the explanation as to why those ingredients can help support you with this condition. Uh, you can try hot or cold compresses, and you can try compresses made out of natural infusions, such as chamomile, plantain, peppermint, pennyroyal, and horsetail. These also help the circulation and possibly help the breast to drain and clean some of the toxicity. But diet is also very important. You want to eat a healthy, balanced diet, key in everything. But the vitamin E, omega fatty acids, will help improve and support the body when you have breast cysts. What can we do with cysts? There seems to be a lot. Again, 
in review, we want to see our medical professional roll out any serious issues, and you can use Remedies Nutrition, Sysbegon. And please feel free to go back and review the first video for more information. See you next time on Remedies Recommend.